The saying, don't cross the boss, gets taken to a whole other level when Vince McMahon is involved. The creative genius and leader of the WWE has used his power and control of programming to embarrass, humiliate, and put superstars in their place. The HR department must have been busy after these crazy incidences. 10 times Vince McMahon humiliated his own employees. Ricky becomes the dragon. One of the greatest WrestleMania matches of all time was Ricky Steamboat versus Macho Man Randy Savage. Steamboat may have walked away with the Intercontinental Championship, but his glory didn't last very long. Vince became bitter and angry when Steamboat requested time off to vacation with his pregnant wife. Shortly after, Steamboat lost the title and then left the company. When he returned, Vince saddled him with a cheesy and obnoxious fire-breathing dragon gimmick and his past accomplishments were hardly ever recognized. William Regal joins the club. One of the most obnoxious and egotistical things that Vince has ever done was form the Kiss My Ass Club. One of the first members of the club was William Regal. Regal is a talented performer who has wrestled all over the world. For him to get on his knees and pucker up for Vince was just plain sad. Vince seemed to love it though, and the club lived on for numerous years. The Warriors' Self-Destruction The WWE has released several documentaries over the years, but nothing has ever been like the ultimate destruction of the Ultimate Warrior. The whole documentary was a huge bash on the Warrior. It included impressions, trash talking, and basically discredited his whole career in the WWE and WCW. It was a shocking way to showcase the legendary wrestler, and eventually he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Bart Gunn's Knockout The Brawl for All was supposed to be a real boxing tournament, but the WWE had pegged Dr. Steve Williams to win the whole thing. A shocker came when Williams was actually knocked out by Bart Gunn. Since this ruined all of Vince's plans, he got revenge on Gunn by pitting him in a boxing match against the super heavyweight Butterbean. Gunn was quickly knocked out in the match as Vince McMahon happily watched from the background. Cesaro doesn't have it. Vince McMahon should be protecting his stars and helping them become the future of the company. Instead, he chose to go on Stone Cold Steve Austin's podcast and bash his own employees. Vince was brutally honest when he stated that Cesaro doesn't have the it factor when it comes to being a main event superstar. When you don't have the confidence of your own boss, it can be extremely hard to break through and become a top star. Impersonating Jim Ross Jim Ross is a legendary WWE commentator, but he has been used as Vince McMahon's punching bag more often than not. One of the worst instances was a pointless backstage segment where McMahon decided to teach Hornswoggle how to impersonate JR. The segment is rude, insults Ross, and came off as extremely tasteless when it aired. It's no wonder Ross hasn't appeared in WWE for several years. Rusev's Marriage Woes It's hard to separate fiction from reality when it comes to the WWE. On screen, Rusev and Lana were involved in a confusing love triangle with Dolph Ziggler and Summer Rae. The whole storyline died out though when the real life engagement of Rusev and Lana was revealed on TMZ. McMahon punished the couple by continuing the crazy story and eventually bringing on The Rock to insult Lana and insinuate they had an affair together. Perry Saturn's Mop Love Story Perry Saturn's WWE career was going strong. He was getting a lot of great matches and got paired with Terry in a love story. During a squash match, Saturn treated a jobber a little too rough and Vince decided to punish him for these actions. Saturn's on-screen romance was broken off and instead he fell in love with a mop, what that was later called Moppy. Needless to say, Saturn's WWE career didn't last too long after carrying around a mop for several weeks. Trish Stratus barks like a dog. Vince has spent several years treating women like objects more than his peers and professional wrestlers. One of the worst examples of this was when he treated Trish Stratus during their romantic storyline. In the middle of the ring, Vince made Trish strip down, get on her knees, and bark like a dog. The crowd booed out of true anger, and the whole segment was extremely uncomfortable to watch. Brett screwed Brett? When Bret Hart decided to leave the WWE for WCW, Vince made his life a living hell. First came the infamous Montreal Screwjob, where Vince screwed Bret in his own home country of Canada. Then on Raw, 
Vince proceeded to do a lengthy interview where he stated that Brett screwed Brett and threw Brett under the bus for the whole incident. It took years for Brett to ever return to the WWE, and he probably still has bitter feelings over the incident to this day. Wow, would you ever want to work for Vince McMahon? Do you think he took things too far? Is there anything that we missed? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to The Sportster on YouTube.